All right, my dear friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you daily horoscope for Wednesday, the 9th of September, 2020. We've got the moon in the sign of Gemini. We've got the sun in the sign of Virgo. Okay, now both of these signs are ruled by or associated with the planet Mercury, which is about information. Okay, and Mercury is over in the sign of Libra bringing balance to our lives, balance to our intellect, balance to our communication, all right? Balance, 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 okay? So the moon down in Gemini, our emotional need, right? That's what we need, our emotional needs is to look at all of the, you know, weighing out all of the options, looking at all the possibilities, as well as it's like, it's a, it's a lighter air sign, you know? Light and having fun and playful, and, uh, um, you know, it's going here and there. It's, it's a, you know, like, a, like an electron bouncing back and forth extremely fast. Okay, blinking in this world and blinking in the, the material, physical world and then back out into wherever it goes. Right? Did, 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 did. So it's very quick and speedy. So emotionally, we can feel a lot is going on today. We can be a little bit up in our heads. All right? And how, how do we balance this life? How do we balance our emotions? If I would have done, you know, we can get caught up in our heads today and say, well, I did this and this led to this, 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 and this. Maybe I should have done this, 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 and this, and it would have led me down this path. And the, the, the sun being in the more analytical sign of Virgo, and it just says, well, this is what I said yes to, and this is what I said no to. It's a practical earth sign, you know, with its feet on the ground. You know, or the air sign of Gemini is, is, can be flighty, okay? The wind blows through the leaves and pollen blows all over. Or it's just like where the tree is planted. The plant is planted, you know. So there's, there's some sort of grounding structure that's happening as well as all of these array of emotions and, and looking at things in a different perspective and saying, you know, and it's not second guessing ourselves or questioning ourselves if we made the right decision but it is also at the same time looking at the decisions that we've made right virgo the virgin yes or no the decisions that we've made and saying do i want to make these same decisions again in the future or further if i'm you know if i encounter similar circumstances or similar experiences and what decision do i want to make when it comes to that crossroad okay now, the sun as well, I'll show you the chart. The sun has got a perfect trine to Jupiter today. And Jupiter is our planet of abundance, right? Planet of abundance and more, more, more. So look at that. Right at noon, my time, Eastern Standard Time. 1725, 1725. The sun trine to Jupiter, okay? And we want to bring abundance into our lives, Okay, this is also about balance. Mercury here balancing the mind in Libra. You know, uh, this is more things and, and, and abundance of, of, of joy and abundance of beauty and abundance of philosophy and knowledge. You know, we're over here, which rules uh, Sagittarius, where the South Node is. And these are interesting, interesting placements right now, which lead to us. You know, there's 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 no rights or wrongs. Uh, and everyone deals with this energy differently. So there's always like a blessing on one hand and, and a confrontation on another, you know. And, and Jupiter being up in Capricorn, which is at its, its weakest point in the zodiac, you know, and it says more with less, more with less, and being restricted by Saturn, being restricted by these walls. I want to expand more and more and more. I want all of these things. And it's saying do we really need all of these things to do whatever we need to do to get whatever we need to get you know so it's an interesting alignment it's a lovely alignment however with jupiter being in the sign of capricorn it makes us say you know are we at a place of abundance you know financially there's a lot going on in the world right now where people's incomes are a lot less than what they have been uh job security is a lot different 10th house you know rules our our career and public image um and maybe we want to go work more maybe we want all these things and and, and 
Virgo is the sign of service. So the sun's saying, like, I'm here, I'm ready for service. I want to do these things and be abundant in it and want to be of service to you. Okay? And it's understanding as well that Capricorn is about authority, that we are the authority. Okay? And we can take a grounded approach by being focused on how we can create more abundance in our lives when it comes to our career, when it comes to finances, and we have Mercury, uh, excuse me, Uranus over here uh, in the Earth sign of Taurus as well, still making that connection to the sun, you know, seven degrees off. I, I like to look at, you know, about eight degrees is what I look at uh, most of the things that, that pull up here on the chart. So you see the thicker lines uh, on my chart. Uh, the thicker the line is, it's a closer, uh, closer to being exact. When they're thinner, like this one right there, it means they're getting a little bit further away. So we feel a little bit less. All right. So although we don't have the trine going on right now up here to uh, Jupiter to um, Uranus anymore, Okay, we still have this one here, which is a breakthrough. Breakthroughs of money, okay, breakthroughs in finances, or or radical new ways to make, you know, make income into our lives, and focused on being of service. And if we can get our stuff together, whatever it may be in our lives, we can create some sort of abundance within the limitations that Saturn and Capricorn are giving us right now. Basically, meaning with the authority that's going on and we all have a government capricorn is government and the authority is telling us how to you know our restrictions and limitations and how what is essential what is not essential as a business um, we have to create new ways radical new ways to make sure that we can sustain our life here on planet earth right so that's going on as well i'm going to come back here for a moment you know, Uranus rules Aquarius and technology, okay? And down here, we've got Venus. There's nothing in here in Aquarius yet, not until Jupiter and Saturn both meet up here in, in December. They're both going to join uh, the Aquarius party here. Um, right now, Venus being in the sign of Leo, you know, and, and soul, again, soul is body, Soul is body, manifested, dense, physical, compressed light. Okay, dense light, the sun, dense light, this ball of energy, dense. Okay, not all the atoms are separated into nothingness. They're all together, one being one big ball of light. Okay, and so this is our body, this compressed, dense, vibrating body of particles, you know, of atoms. Um, what Venus and Mercury are this they still have this sextile going on with one another, only three degrees apart. Okay. And now as the you know the month continues, Mercury's gonna get farther away, and that sextile will disappear. But as we're bringing balance into our mind, balance into our communication, the big thing that sticks out here with this is understanding that a personable relationship and valuing, okay, not using not using technology to communicate, but to be face to face and to balance our lives. Sometimes we have to have very difficult conversations and it's easier. Doesn't mean it's better. It's easier. Easier is not always better. It's easier to send an email with everything so you can just list everything that you want to say in this email. You can send a text message. You know, uh, and that's technology. That's Aquarian energy. Okay, well, we're not at that Aquarian energy right now. We're, we're, Venus is what we love and what we desire. And what we desire is that human contact, human connection, which is a difficult and interesting thing right now with the times that we're in, with our restrictions that we have from our government, from Saturn, from Pluto, from Jupiter up there in Capricorn. We're much, much restrictions going on here down here on planet earth right um where we're using more technology to facetime and, and things like this um and use those when we, where they're absolutely necessary but this is also implying to us that we you know and this is look this is dealing with healing 
Chiron here. Chiron's all about healing. Okay? Uh, and, and this connection here, this trine that's going to continue throughout the week to Venus is saying, look, I, I need real communication, real face-to-face -face interaction. And that's the best thing that we can do right now to balance ourselves and our relationships with the other is by sucking it up, by not being cowardly, if you will, by hiding behind technology because it's easier. You know, again, all this, this Capricorn energy is, is telling us to step up. Okay, now further we have, look at Mars stationed retrograde, you know, at what, 5 o'clock on Tuesday. All right, it's technically not full retrograde until Thursday. I think it's 7 in the morning, okay? So depending on where you're at on this spinning ball in space, um, you know, so it's going to happen technically at 7 o'clock in the morning on, uh, on Thursday. So either way, Mars stationed retrograde, you know, and, and Mars retrograde, I'm going to put another video about this, uh, just about Mars retrograde in Aries here. I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, or I'll do that on Wednesday, excuse me. Whenever you're watching, this could be today. Um, you know, it, it's about uh, part, part of it is, is like the unknown. You know, it's not, not necessarily uh, having a whole script. It's going off the cuff, if you will. Okay. And it's just like, well, when we have all the pieces together and we have the instruction, you know, the instruction manual here, we know where all the Legos go. We know where all the pieces go to create the thing that we're creating. You know, where this is, this energy is also uh, suggesting that we have all these Lego pieces and to create our own thing, you know, um, whatever that may be, go off the cuff and off the whim. So it's adding to that Mercury Venus sextile that's saying, look, we have to have these face communications and I don't know what you're going to say and how you're going to respond and, and, and what you're going to throw back at me. And especially if it's something that's a heated conversation or, you know, we can try our best during these times to not be heated. It doesn't mean it's going to, it's going to happen. You know, we can try our best, you know, this is a difficult aspects to deal with when it comes to Mars and Aries. And especially, you know, we still have this Lilith uh, conjunction to Eris, which is how are we dealing with information? Are we throwing our hands in the air and giving up? Are, are we, are we making sure that we're sticking it through? You know, being committed to this. And if it's committed to having a difficult conversation, you know, to, to see that through face-to-face -face in person, if, if that is accessible, okay, to get us where we need to go, you know, and not being so scripted, not being so A, B, C, you know, <laughs> this, this in order of this, in order of this, you know, it's... Uh, North Node in Gemini, the Moon in Gemini, being flexible, and, and the Sun over there in Virgo. These are mutable signs, right? Saying, go with the flow, go with the change. You know, the, the, the sail on the ship can, can rotate and change depending on the wind, so that way we can get where we have to go. If the sail was fixed, okay, like our fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, uh, Leo, and Aquarius, we, the wind would blow and we could only go in one direction. But that's not who we are. That is not life. That is not our emotions. That is not our thoughts. Okay, so it's important that we stay flexible during this time and, and, and go off the cuff. And, and again, recognizing how we're responding to things. And are we responding with discord? Are we responding with anger? Are we responding, you know, there's a, there's a grain of truth in... in a lot of things, you know, that are being presented to us and to take those grains of truth into consideration of our own actions, okay? Because this is all about balance right now. And again, Mercury is foreshadowing where the sun's going to be on the 22nd, okay? So it's this great time to focus this energy right now and, and do what's necessary and have those, that heartfelt stuff. If that's what's going on in life, you know, if there's conversations that need to be had, or just in, in general, communication is extremely important right now. You know, reach out to your family, reach out to your loved ones, let them know you love them. Even if you, if you have to use technology, use technology, all right? Um, and if we, can, if we can see each other face to face, then, then that's definitely uh, 
a lovely way to go and being flexible as we go about our daily lives right now as so much is up for change. Okay. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, my friends, and we will, I'll see you later when I talk about this Mars retrograde. All right. We're in for a good ride here, but it's a very transformative, very transformative uh, two months that we have ahead of us. All right. We'll see you soon.